Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, on today's episode, or whatever you want to call it <laughs> on this channel, I'm just going to be basically showing um, a lot of the new figures that I was able to um, to find uh, from a figure hunt at Walmart, uh, ringside um, mail call that came in, and Amazon mail call as well. Um, as you can see here, I basically acquired most of the uh, WWE Elite Series 80. Um, so I've got Kyle O'Reilly here. I've got Kevin Owens here. And I've got the War Raiders. I think Ricochet was on this line as well. Uh, I, I do have a Bobby Fish, but I mean, that was, I, I got Bobby Fish way before Kyle O'Reilly. Um, I already have a Kyle O'Reilly, but I have the one from the Undisputed Era 3-pack. Um, but I did not like the face scan. This one looks slightly better, uh, but my Kyle O'Reilly, for some reason, is a little cross-eyed. So, I mean, not, yeah, whatever. I mean, it's a little cross-eyed. By the way, I'm not too crazy about... Uh, I love how this NXT title tag title looks. Yeah, you can see it looks pretty cross-eyed. Um, I do love how this title looks, but, man, look at this. Look at how loose how loose this is so great looking belt but very loose so anyway um yeah so i was able to actually find these at walmart kyle o'reilly kevin owens and the war raiders as well as ricochet um so great great find great pickup um i was able to get bianca belair on amazon for retail price same with angelo dawkins from the street profits um comes with his uh, just his jacket and the headband is removable, so it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I kind of like how they did that. Uh, but yeah, jacket looks cool. Um, uh, it's an okay figure. I, I do have a Stunning Steve, but um, that was also from Amazon. Um, you know what? I'll show you guys. Um, here we go. Stunning Steve as well. So I'm a huge Stone Cold fan. Uh, he's probably my favorite wrestler. Um, so yeah, just awesome figure. Uh I can't call myself a Stone Cold fan and not have a Stunning Steve figure here, you know. So, uh, he does come with the WCW tag title. And let me just lower this here. Um, so, yeah, and, and they do look great. I actually have two Stunning Steves. And the reason is because they come with the WCW tag titles and I couldn't just have one. So, how to get two. So... Yep. Um, also, real quick, I want to kind of show you guys a custom championship that I made. Um, this is like commemorative plates. So it looks like the real deal. So kind of stoked about that. This is how it normally looks. Mattel's version. Not a bad version by no, by no means. Um, but yeah, I just thought this was a little bit cooler. Looks like the real deal. So, yep, looks cool. Um, how I was able to make this is uh, WWE had some like tops selling like trading cards or whatever, whatever you guys want to call it. And apparently they used to release like a, a card with a uh, commemorative plates. And they, they actually came with these three plates. So all I did was I swapped out <laughs> basically this guy. And then I used... Um, Shoot, man. Uh, I'll try to remember and put it down in the comments later. I used, but basically it was a, like a, a, like a glue that you would use on like a replica belt. Uh, sorry, uh, the name, or it, it escapes me right now, but uh, also I'm a little under the weather, so please forgive me. I just wanted to shoot a video before the year ends, kind of show you guys my latest pickup of 2020. Um, but yeah, uh, so, sorry, man. I'm all theraflued out. Um, here's the John Moxley figure that I've been waiting for. Um, not a bad looking figure. Um, I mean, it, it's a good looking figure. The head scan is not the best, but I mean, just he looks a little tired. Looks a little bit cross-eyed as well. Same problem I have with my Kyle O'Reilly. This AEW belt looks phenomenal. Um, I did unbox the rest of the AEW figures as well. So, if you guys... Want to see how those look out the box? Drop a comment down below. Be happy to post another video, kind of displaying all of them in one video. Um, 
But yeah, man, uh, so just wanted to kind of share this with you guys. I think this is the best looking Ricochet figure that they released. I really love that they added the knee pads with the one and only as opposed to just painting it on like they did on the previous Ricochet figures. Um, this Bianca Belair looks incredible. I'll probably unbox it, but for the sake to save you guys time, I won't. Uh, this is my only figure of Luke Harper, also known as John Harper. Well, that's actually his real name. Excuse me. John Harper, also known as Luke Harper and Brody Lee, uh, who we lost on Saturday. Uh, was it Saturday? Yeah. So, well, sadly, we lost him on, on Saturday. So just, you know, rest in peace, man. Hard to believe. That one really hit, really hit hard, and it really came out of nowhere. So um, just really sad, man. So um loved the tribute show that AEW did on him last night thought that was uh, uh what a class act right what a what a great show um but yeah so that that's the reason he was kind of hanging in the back is I just want to make sure that I uh kind of acknowledge that not like I'm anybody but <laughs> I, I'm a wrestling fan at the end of the day and um uh, I definitely for all those wrestling fans I, I know it definitely hit hard so but yeah If you guys are interested, man, I'll be more than happy to kind of show you guys how, how I did the belt. I could do a video on that as well. Um, just let me know. Um, so this is the figure that I've been most excited about, which is this Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan. Um, super excited. I have the Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior. And now I finally have the Hulkster, the NWO. So, yeah, man, that's those are my... Uh, that's how I'm going to close out the year, man, with these, these, these latest pickups. Um... Love the War Raiders. I know I didn't hit on it too much. Don't want to keep the video too long. Um, well, my biggest complaint about this figure, which is Eric, is how they have a nice, strong upper body, but then they got the Daniel Bryan legs. So nothing wrong with the legs if you're Daniel Bryan, but I just feel like they could have made these a little, I don't know, a little, little thicker, you know, just make them a little thick. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, still a great looking figure. The entrance gear is awesome. The attire is awesome. So it's just great looking figures overall. Um, sorry if I sound lazy, um, uh, yeah, just, um, a little under the weather, it's not the Rona, thank goodness, um, but yeah, so, I, like I said, I just wanted to make one more video to, before I ended the year, uh, we want to thank, say thank you to all, all the subscribers I have, I know it's a very small channel, um, but we did get, like, reach 50 subscribers recently so uh it's it's awesome man i'll take whatever i can get I, i'd love to do giveaways soon so uh hopefully we can continue to grow the channel i promise i won't sound uh sick on all of them uh, but i do want to share i order figures all the time so I, I mean i'd love to put out more content but anyway um just want to wish you all a happy new year's uh for you happy new year for you your family uh may 2021 bring you uh good health uh success in, in your careers uh, whatever it is that you are aspiring to do or accomplish. Um, so yeah, man, ha happy new year for me to you. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to, to give my video a watch. Uh, if you don't mind dropping a like, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below. Greatly appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, letting me have some of your time. Uh, once, once more, rest in peace, John Huber, and I'll see you guys on the next one.